Power Director 16. How do you blur out somebody's face or even blur out a license plate? In this video, in this tutorial of Power Director 16, I'm going to teach you how to do a blur. This person's face in the background is what I want to blur. So how I do that is I start watching my video and I see where this person's going and right there they went behind me. So I kind of want to move it ahead a couple frames till they're gone and then I want to cut my video. Now they're going to come out the other side of me, right there, you see that? So I'm going to back that up a little bit, and then I'm going to cut it right there. I'm going to continue, off screen there, and I'm going to cut it there. So that gives us enough in this tutorial in PowerDirector 16 to show you how I'm going to do this. So there's our screen segments right there. I'm going to click the first one. I'm going to go to Tools here in PowerDirector 16 and click on Motion Tracker. Motion Tracker in PowerDirector 16. This is going to track the motion of the person is what it's going to do. I want that down there. I want that down there. Move this all the way down because we're doing everything. Take the box and put it on their head. And you can make that pretty much any size you want. The crosshairs is what's going to do the tracking. I'm then going to click FX and it's going to create a second box. I'm going to make that a blur and then I'm going to extend that. So this way I've got his head pretty much set up. Now you can do this as a circle, a box, whatever you want. You can set the degree of it, okay, the gradient depth. Now, if you wanted to, we could invert it, and you'll notice now all we see is the person's face. So if we were making a video where we wanted to emphasize on a particular person in the background, you could do that. But I want to blur out this person. And this last box will adjust the effect size for tracking them. This is the final process where you're going to click on Track in PowerDirector 16 here. And notice the red dot stays on his head. Boom, we got it. I mean the yellow dot, sorry. So now that we have that, I'll hit play. And notice it follows that person until they came out the other side. Well, that's the second frame right here. So we're going to have to go to tools. And we're going to have to go to our motion tracker too. Because we had cut the video up. Remember that? And the person is going to come out right there. See him right there? So I'm going to bring this box down, try and get the crosshairs on him the best I can. And literally, I kind of cut this wrong, but let's see if I can wing it. And I'll go with blur. Expand it out. So I can get it. And I'll say follow. And then we'll track it. Seemed to work. Hit OK. See what happens. And there he was. OK. So this last one we cut is where I'm going to go to Motion Tracker again. And there's this head sticking out. So I'm going to bring that box down. I'm sure you're getting the idea now here while we do this in PowerDirector 16. And then I'm going to click the FX. I'm going to go with the blur. Spread that box out. Set my degree and uh, adjust this last box and then hit track. And the yellow dot stays on his head. Perfect. Hit OK. So now we'll go back. Yeah, that worked out pretty good. So we'll go back. His face is blurred. He comes out. He's blurred. Not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, I could work on that and get it a little bit better, but. 
you get the idea on how to use your motion tracker within PowerDirector 16 and how to do a blur on somebody's face or the license plate. And it gives you an idea of what you're working with here. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. If you have, click the subscribe button. You may want to go watch my playlist and watch some more tutorials. And I try to release videos as much as I can to teach you guys how to use Pirate Director 16. So anyhow, guys, without further ado, I'll catch you guys on the next one.